Once upon a time, there was a princess who lost her kingdom to an evil genie. and her friends must find the Great Book of Magic. So I'm starving! I can't wait any longer! Please! Sandwiches! Yay! Yay! Uh. <gasps> I've got some mozzarella, sun-dried tomato, and garlic marinated rat tail! <laughs> Kidding! Oh, good. I can't stand garlic. Hello, honorable grandson. Hello, grandfather. What clue do you have for us today? What's he saying, Zal? <laughs> to find the great book of magic, one must go to the light. He says that to find the great book of magic, we must go to the light. Go to the light. Oh, my, that sounds mysterious. But what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean, Grandfather? One must follow the signal. He says we are to follow the signal. The signal? Like an alarm signal, for example? Oops, I didn't do it. So, Grandfather, should we follow a signal or a light? If I told you, there would be no story. I hate it when he does that. That. We've got to find the Great Book of Magic. Oh, please, Princess, please! Let me be in the spotlight for just one episode, please! Sir Roderick, I just don't think we have time. <laughs> Listen, lady, it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to be in the spotlight! Wait a minute. Spotlight? Light! That's what Grandfather said. Go to the light! It was my idea first. But I am a poor villager. Too tall. Eyes all wrong. I'm not casting a horror movie. Too blonde. Too dark. Too messy. You're hired! I can't believe it. It's a dream come true. Some background on my character. What is background? Well, um, like, what is his favorite color? Where's his horse? Is he lactose intolerant? And I'm rather intolerant! You're fired! You hear? Fired! <laughs> I almost believed you. You should look into acting, you know. You're fired! Ugh. Not too convincing that time. Is this convincing? <laughs> Who's next? She is! Anyway... 
This commercial stuff is just not my thing. Uh, I was absolutely right to walk off that project. It's better for my career. No, really, I feel... I feel relieved, you know? And what's new at the movies? Elspeth, that's who. A magical talent. She jumps, hops, flies. <laughs> I don't remember reading this bound and gag bit in the script. Get out of here quick, it's a trap! What? But... Ah. And fade to black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody, the whole gang's here. <laughs> Genius, I am your producer, remember? You are? Of course I am. See the name at the bottom of this page? Okay, so what is the plan? The plan is... God! This is outrageous! Somebody call my mother! I'll send you to the North Pole. <laughs> the Himalayas. The South Pole. Belgium. Belgium? Why Belgium? How come they get all the exciting places, huh? <laughs> and anyway, this big budget commercial stuff is just not my thing. I was right to walk off that project. It's better for my career, yeah? I said exactly the same thing two scenes back. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. <laughs> Dear viewers, behold my victory over the Questers. By this time tomorrow, they'll be gone forever. <laughs> I've heard that before. Silence. All it took good people is four crates, four boats, and four one-way tickets. Eh, uh, we're missing one quester. Roderick. Oh, um, ha-ha, <laughs> be serious. That clown, let him try to save them. <gasps> My friends are in trouble. I've got to save them. <laughs> but where could they be? He said they were on boats. Boats? That means a lake. But there's no lake around here. There are boats in the port down the street. I'll never find them. Oh, no. Are you listening? Support! Support! I know. I'll go to the port. I think there's one down the street. Ah! This time, I think I can humbly say that I win. <laughs> you want a bet, Duke? Ready! You'll never defeat Boris and me! Uh, actually, he'll be doing all the fighting. Cut! Start over. It wasn't convincing enough. You can do it, Sir Roderick! Action! You will get a taste of my sword! You just dare come in here now. You'll suffer my wrath. <laughs> and you'll suffer my breath. <laughs> no fish. Mine got away. Coward. <laughs> Keep going, Sarah! Yeah. You can do 
I, 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 I win? Did you see that? I won! Rats, I ran out of film! Adventures yet to film! My friends, no offense, but comedy is not my thing. And what about your grandfather's message? <laughs> Absolute nonsense, as usual. <laughs> Go to the light! I couldn't have said it more clearly. So long. To pursue adventures is what you choose, but what you seek is before your nose. I don't get it. When you understand the mountain, is the mountain more understanding? Grandfather, I'm sick of all these riddles. I give up. So long. It was a joke. Look. The Great Book of Magic. So, who is the best grandfather of them all? No, oh, that's cheating! He can't do that! He just did. Magic Complaints Department, how may I help you? This is the Duke speaking. I object! A spiritual vision has no right to transmit a real book! That's impossible! Aren't you standing next to a talking cockroach? Well, yes. And right now he's stealing a cherry off of one, right? Mm, yes. Then nothing's impossible. <laughs> Look what I've got! The Great Book of Magic! The Great Book of Magic! Finally! At last I can return to my normal size in my kingdom! We'll be able to sleep in real beds! In real magic! Watch TV all day! Let me look at that. He who reads this page will absorb all the others. Ronnie, no! Not that page! <gasps> Everything's gone! Are you all right, Sir Roderick? <laughs> He's absorbed the magic! That was my magic from my magic book and he just took it all! <laughs> this is the Duke again. If a moronic knight absorbs the contents of the great book of magic, what happens? Well, he becomes magic. Come on, figure it out! Magic. This is even better than a TV! Woohoo! I can make cucumbers fly! I can turn this stone into a ham! <laughs> Nothing! It's all gone! Slooby doo chee, slooby doo choo! Turn yourself back into you! Into you! Into you! Into you! <laughs> Slice a ham! Slice, 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 slice. Fire! <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can't let this get us down. Do you know what we're going to do? Eat from ham? No! The solution is right here, under our noses. Roddy! <coughs> huh? Roddy is magic. He'll solve all our problems. Sir Roderick? <laughs> Princess, no, stop! He's more likely to make things worse! I want a never-ending source of lemonade! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm king of the world! Has Sir Roderick lost his mind? Almost! The magic has gone to his head! Look at his feet! <laughs> oh, no! He's going over to the dark side! No one can handle that amount of magic without turning evil! If we don't do something, Roddy will turn into... His name cannot be spared! Ah! <laughs> At last, some good news. <laughs> I don't 
don't see how that's good news. Rex, if Roddy becomes he whose name cannot be spoken, he'll be on our side. Evil will finally reign over this kingdom. And who is going to be at the very bottom of the bad guy food chain? <laughs> we got to stop this from happening. Mm -hmm. And I want some chicken. Oh, yeah, zombie chickens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking you to reinvent the wheel! I just want to put the magic back into the book. Read the page and become he whose name cannot be spoken. Yeah, I understand. No, that's not it. That's not it either. The future master of evil is waiting, so make it snappy! Not this one either. Hmm. Your call is important to us, so please oh. stay on the line. What are you doing, Rex? I'm updating my resume. All masters of evil could use a cockroach to keep him company. Traitor! Aha! What you need to do is tickle him under the chin with a dodo feather. Oh, no! I hate dodos! Hello, ma'am. I'd like to return the magic to a book Again, that... Again, as I just told the future master of evil, you have to tickle the person's chin with a dodo feather. Well, we need a dodo feather. Marvelous. I adore dodos. Oh, and? And the Duke knows everything. He's going to try and beat us to the punch. Oh, no. I bet he's going to try to become... He whose name cannot be spoken. Ah. All right. You two watch, Roddy. We'll go look for a dodo feather. <laughs> Here, dodo. Here, dodo, dodo. There's a nice dodo. Come on, dodo, dodo. Oh, oh. You, you brute! Let it go! <laughs> Never! Uh. Oops. Go! Oh, I hate dodos. Hang in there, William. Roddy's about to get bored of this. Oh, William, are we feeling a little lonely, Frog? I love this game! Here, let me try for a while. I sure could use something to eat right now. I know, a mutton sandwich! <laughs> I brought the vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, how about we make a deal? <laughs> Who wants to be turned into my lunch first? Roddy! That's enough! Oh, Princess, what a pleasure to see you again. Roddy, we don't play games where we turn children into ham sandwiches. Yes, we do. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> no more sermons. I am he whose name cannot be spoken. We'll see about that. 
Doesn't sound good. That's the secret, Rex. Always let others do the dirty work for you. Look, Rudy! Are those pickles? Pickles? Where? Where? Pickles? 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 Where are the pickles? Right here! You should see yourselves. I know a few people who stayed out too late last night. Roddy, we miss you. Ahem, aren't you forgetting something? A deal is a deal. What was it I said again? Let others do the dirty work for you. Stop that immediately. I don't sound anything like that. I don't regret having chosen Roddy, so I lose my kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Away! Yes, Duke, of course, Duke. I've got nothing else to do, Duke. Come on, turn into something. Come on, I should turn into something. Roddy, you're not magic anymore. That's impossible. No, 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 no. I don't believe it. Abracadabra. Magic stick. Let me do one more magic. Hey! I made them disappear. I am magic! Roddy! Roddy. 